what is special for me about slow motion is this idea of pause presence, which is one of the main principles of the work. And it, what it means is that at any point there's an opportunity, it shows to pause and return to presence. So that to me is very grounding. And that to me is also when I'm getting lost in my head or even in my movements and I notice that I'm doing something mechanically or I'm doing something because I want to, my ego thinks that uh, it looks good or I want to show off or something like that. I always have a choice to just come back and pause and return to presence. That is one of the biggest things for me in the slow motion work that I appreciate. Another one is actually this idea of orbit orientation, which means to move in all direction without preference. And that to me also, I come into a room and I can spot the slow motion dancers that have done this practice for a long time because they really have this idea of moving in all directions, not just this very narrow front that we inhabit a lot in our daily lives, actually, where it's very frontal and very square, but this idea of moving in all directions, especially finding the back, finding the sides, top down, everywhere, without preference. So, so the front is just one of the possibilities. Emotions can be felt the most when I'm still, when I'm really coming to a place of emptying and slowing down and pausing. And there comes this idea of the pause presence again where I can actually feel my emotions. I may have emotions all the time. As a matter of fact, I do. But the question is of feeling them and actually acknowledging them, actually being with them. And for that, in my daily life, I find that stillness is actually very helpful. And so when I move, it's not just about the stillness, it's about the presence, again, being present with what is. And that's another thing that I appreciate about conscious dance in general, that there is this idea that everything is welcome, all is welcome here. All my emotions are welcome, and it's about being with, not pushing away, not um, ignoring, but being with whatever is moving through me at any given moment. When I hear consciousness in dance, I really think of two things. One is being conscious of what I'm doing. And that's sort of the opposite of unconscious, of not um, being in touch with myself, not being in touch with my emotions, not being in touch with my body or my thoughts. So being conscious is being in touch for me. So that's one level. And then, of course, when I do that and when I'm in a room full of people and realize, oh, we're all just the same in different packages. We all have similar emotions, similar fears, joys, etc. Then I start to get to this idea of, oh, maybe we're all connected, right? And then I can raise that awareness higher and to a higher consciousness and really um, dance and move and be with the connection, the interconnectedness of everything, of all things and beings.